Hello and welcome. In today's video, I want to talk about ServiceNow, a large cloud-based software application suite, and how ServiceNow can help you to get into information technology with no experience. Of course, it's easier if you have some experience already, especially in information technology. But ServiceNow is really a tool where it's easy to learn and understand the tool, go through a certification process, and that way prove to employers that you have that skill set. And that really requires no pre-existing college degree in information technology or any other type of experience. You are really at the center of this. You can go and study and really become proficient in ServiceNow and then move into six-figure salaries really, really quickly without many years of IT experience. So first of all, what is ServiceNow? I don't want to go into all the details, but again, it's a cloud-based suite of software applications. So if you think of ServiceNow like a really expensive ticketing system for companies, well, yeah, you could say that, but there is a lot more. ServiceNow does asset management. You can have your change management process. You can have automation with ServiceNow and hook it into other systems. You can build functionality in ServiceNow that it becomes like a one-stop shop for a company for all services that are internally provided. Of course, it's also a ticketing system, but as I mentioned before, well, it's a very expensive ticketing system, but if you are just after a ticketing system, well, ServiceNow is not the right tool. So take a look at ServiceNow and check if ServiceNow is something that catches your interest. So why am I recommending ServiceNow? And there are quite a few reasons. So ServiceNow is a very fast growing company. It has become a large company. They're like the market leader in this field. There are a few other players, but ServiceNow is one of the market leaders in this area. ServiceNow is very expensive and the customer base is growing. So knowing that, that it's so expensive, those companies are making a major investment into ServiceNow. And you can be sure that these companies also want to get the best out of that tool. So they will invest on top of ServiceNow to get it configured, to get it hooked into all the systems that they want to use it with. With companies looking for these type of professionals, there's a high demand for people. And while there aren't that many ServiceNow related specialists out there, yes, there are quite a few. But there's always room for more, especially if you are like one of the upcoming IT professionals, you don't have much experience or no experience, but you can prove through studying and certifications that you understand what ServiceNow is and that you can help these companies to get the best out of the tool. So it's a very important thing to know. So what do you need really if you want to succeed with becoming an IT professional in ServiceNow? So first of all, you need a great work ethic. So that is really a prerequisite almost for any job these days. You need to be willing to learn and study hard because it is not an easy tool. So there's a lot of studying that you have to do and a lot of learning and you might have to spend quite a few nights really to go through documentation, get into your own personal developer ServiceNow instance and play with it and really understand how the tool works. So there's a lot of effort required from your side. So how can you learn ServiceNow? So ServiceNow itself, the company, provides so many learning resources. They actually have free courses on their website where you can go through the entire ServiceNow technology, I want to say, and then you can go and take a certification exam. So the online course is free. You would have to pay for the certification exam, and that's really the nice part here. There's no pre-existing investment that you have to make. You go and study as long as it takes, and when you are ready, you just sign up for that certification exam. You pay about $300. You pass the exam while well, you're almost in your first job within information technology. So that's really from a very high level view. It's very easy to get into ServiceNow because the company provides so many resources and really makes it easy for you to absorb the information and, well, take it to the next level. So to find these free online courses and the other resources, go to Now Learning on the ServiceNow website. ServiceNow uses the word now quite a bit in their branding, in their marketing, but also for the resources. So Now Learning, that's where you can go and you find those free courses, you find the information right there, and then you can get started. And then ServiceNow really has built up a large customer base. They also have built up a large community of ServiceNow professionals and ServiceNow developers. So once you start getting into ServiceNow and you start really getting a hang of it, make sure to subscribe to those communities. 
ask questions, especially here really, start networking with people. Get to know other people and really show, even in these forums, that you are really motivated, that you understand what you're talking about. So you become an expert, you can answer questions of other people in those communities. And this can really lead to job opportunities that didn't exist before. So those com communities for the support and for developers, make sure you take advantage of those. I want to mention two other resources. So for one there is YouTube, I call it YouTube University. Like my videos here on YouTube, information is free and there's a lot of service now related information out there. Make sure that you really stick to the newer videos within ServiceNow on YouTube. So the reason is that ServiceNow force upgrades their customers to new versions every two years. So there's new functionality coming into each ServiceNow instance two years at the latest, in many cases earlier. If you watch a video from five years ago, well, that could be really, really outdated. So you wanna make sure you watch videos a year or younger, maybe one and a half years or younger. So really make sure, pay attention to that and identify which version were these videos referring to and what is shown and maybe that functionality has changed completely. Maybe the interface has changed completely. So make sure you stick to the newer videos on YouTube. The other resource I wanna mention is Reddit. Reddit is a great website. You can ask so many questions in whatever you wanna know in life. So ServiceNow is no difference. So there is a ServiceNow separated and there are other ServiceNow professionals that answer questions and sometimes even post helpful resources. So make sure to subscribe to that subreddit and spend some time reading there. Don't just spend no only time reading there. Take like 10, 15 minutes a day, scroll through the different discussions and identify if there's anything that you can pick up that will make your life easier. And I briefly mentioned this already. Get your own personal developer instance of ServiceNow. It's free. So ServiceNow makes this available to ServiceNow developers and you can really start playing in a sandbox and if it doesn't work out, if you misconfigure your instance, well, you just destroy it and bring it back up. So ServiceNow really is very proactive and helping that community of professionals to make it easy for them to understand the tool and really become almost like a second marketing branch for ServiceNow because the more people are out there, well, it helps with the sales. And I mentioned before, service now is a quite expensive tool. So there's a lot of money that goes around that companies spend on ServiceNow. So now let's switch to the ServiceNow website and let's take a look at the different training options that I mentioned before, but also some additional information here. On the screen, I have the ServiceNow Foundation's e-learning. I'm not gonna go and read the summary here for you, but I will put the link to this website down in the description. What I wanna point out here is really, take a look at who should attend. This course is designed as an introduction to the ServiceNow products. It is also a prerequisite for the ServiceNow Fundamentals course. So that's really where you want to start. First, take a look at what is ServiceNow and then you can go to the ServiceNow Fundamentals course as the next step and then go through that course and prepare for the certification exam potentially. So now I'm on the ServiceNow developer website and you can see here are different training options available. I want to point out the 16 modules here new to ServiceNow. So this course will enable professional developers to build applications on the Now platform. In this plan, you will learn how to navigate the ServiceNow user interface, create applications using ServiceNow Studio, create application files such as modules, tables, and scripts. And that sounds already very advanced, but it drives you into the right direction of what you need to learn and then really provides that value back to potential employers so that they are willing to hire you and of course pay you a bigger salary. There are other courses here. You can take a look at the description. I will put the link down below into the video and uh, this, this gives you a little more time to read up on the different courses and then really build your training plan because that's the other important piece. Build your training plan so that you can go through this with confidence that you have the right modules lined up, that you have the right courses lined up and that you go for the certification and then hopefully pass in the first attempt. So which training course should you take first? So get onto the Now Learning website with ServiceNow and look for the fundamentals course. The fundamentals are really the foundation of what you need to know about ServiceNow. Get an understanding of what that tool does, what the different modules do and why are they so important and how do they all connect together and create this 
ecosystem within ServiceNow that provides so much functionality for companies. So the foundational course, again, it's free, and then you sign up for the certification, you spend your $300, and hopefully you are well prepared when you get into that certification exam and hopefully pass. Additional steps that you can take to support your journey into ServiceNow and to become really an expert in this area. I think one of the most important tools is learn JavaScript. JavaScript is not only important for ServiceNow, but also for software development. And if you maybe understand JavaScript already, well, you have a big advantage. So if you don't know JavaScript, well, that is one thing that you want to study on the side and become proficient with as well, because it will help you with your ServiceNow work. You also want to read up on the REST API and you also want to look into web development. So ServiceNow is cloud-based, you access it through the web browser. So when you build functionality in ServiceNow, it's not just clicking on certain things and configuring items, of course that exists as well, but there's also software development involved. And this type of web development, well, if you have some understanding there and maybe you have a knack for picking up these type of skills, well, then again, you are at the right place with ServiceNow. JavaScript, REST API, and then some web development. Those skills will help you to become a ServiceNow professional. And I mentioned there's so much stuff in ServiceNow. What should you focus on first? So the first few items that you really want to focus on, and then you can branch out at a later time. So look at incident management, look at problem management, look at change management. Also understand what ITSM is and understand what ITIL is. Those two are really going hand in hand. And once you understand ITSM and ITIL, it's not just important for ServiceNow. So this can help you to open other doors in information technology if you would want to move on from ServiceNow. So maybe look at the ITIL Foundation certification. Having that certification on your resume getting into IT is very important these days, actually. So if you understand how ITIL works and what it does for a company, ITIL is a framework, by the way, well, you have a great advantage. And when you go into those job application interviews and you get asked certain questions and you can shine with your knowledge, well, this really can make a difference and can get you that job. So I mentioned that there are really high paying jobs for ServiceNow professionals. And well, what does high paying mean? So I think if you really go for the certifications and you back up the knowledge with certifications, you add ITIL, maybe something else that you know, some programming, JavaScript, whatever the case may be, starting salaries can really be in the $80,000 and up range. And then as you grow and your experience grows, well, you can easily make it to 150 to 200, maybe even $250,000. And then with like many of these software applications, there's the opportunity to become a consultant or to start your own agency and provide services back. And then your income almost has no limits. So think about how you map out your career if you get into service now, and it keeps you maybe motivated that you make it A, into the ServiceNow community, into the ecosystem, you understand it, but then grow your career to where you want to be. So I would love to hear from you in the comments, what do you think of ServiceNow? Is that something that you're interested in? Did you know that these roles are also roles in information technology and that you can get into this type of job with no experience? So let me know down in the comments what you think, or maybe you have other software applications and want me to make a video about it. Please put it down in the comments, let me know. So now I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.